Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what a sculpture looks like when it's drying. This is just a quick video. And if you look at the old video, you'll see that there's a lot more uh, denseness to it. You can see it's wet. So what happens with this clay? The extremities tend to dry a lot faster than the parts over here. And we're going to look around and see some of the things that are wrong and right. So the head is drying nicely and looking around the sculpture we'll probably see some some issues. So the um, this I could not get rid of yet. Uh, I might be able to pull it out but it doesn't really matter. It seems to have um, worked its way in there. It'll get burned out. I did pull this one out, but you you see I left a hole in there because it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll cover it, even sand it a little bit and round it off. Now, it's a little bit hard to tell on video, but this part is actually wetter. You can tell by the color because this is denser than up here. And the reason it's, this is drier is because I hollowed out this quite a bit, and this part I left just a little bit more uh, more dense and the legs the lower legs are drying out really well because thin things tend to dry out very fast the thing that is not dry of course is that base just look at the color difference between that base and the top part base top part base you get the idea because down here it's a lot thicker. The base here is also, I can feel some of the moisture in my finger. Look at the base, there are some cracks that are developing. And I think one of the reasons is I did not remove it entirely from the plastic. And the plastic, you can see I've kind of ripped in a couple of sections. And as you recall from the first video, I put the plastic in so the wetness did not merge into that wood and the wood would soak that moisture and you don't want that. What I'm going to do is see if I can lift up the sculpture here and I'm using both hands, try and there we go and I'm just going to put this aside. You could sculpt a little bit of it. If, for example, you wanted to sand off various parts of the sculpture, you could do it at this point. But what I'm going to do is just kind of raise it up a little bit. And oftentimes, too, I will just simply move the sculpture off a little bit to the side. And I can scrape the bottom part if I wanted to hollow it out. So this is like a matter of just kind of holding it up and then showing you guys what it looks like. So you see that hole? That is how it's going to be firing. And I need this to dry even more before I do the next step, which is going to be scraping off more of the sides and um, even using a drill and kind of just kind of poking into the sculpture and trying to get rid of a lot of the, the, the uh, clay that's on the inside. You do have to be really careful with this. And I can put it kind of on the base, but this has developed a fairly large crack here. And you could just take this and just start, but you can put your hand all the way to the sculpture. There are some cracks now that I'm seeing in the base developing. That's absolutely fine. You know, um, the interesting thing about at this point, so let's see, I'm putting it really slowly on here without. Um, the cool thing about when the sculpture is at this level, you could take, say, one of your scraping tools and you're essentially carving away. And this is a very good way of sculpting because if you want something a little bit more detailed, Water clay lets you work when it's dry. It just, it's just a matter of scraping and it becomes powder. You can even sand it. So if you wanted something absolutely 
absolutely um, smooth, you could sand it off if you wanted. Oftentimes I don't do it. Sometimes I'll burnish a little bit at the edges. I might work a little bit tomorrow on the horns because I want more distinct, distinct lines on it. But um, often I don't really work when it's like this unless there are some cracks that are developing that are so grotesque that I need to uh, bring it all together. But I think I'm just going to like look over it tomorrow and finish all of this up. But it's pretty much ready. It was a difficult sculpture to do, but just like a lot of things, you just have to persevere.